Hi everybody, this is Laura and Arnie with Crazy Cool Cakes. Today we're going to be teaching you how to make these adorable little lamb cupcake toppers. These are the perfect toppers for all of your Easter cupcakes. Let's go ahead and get started and happy Easter everybody. We're going to make two different versions and we're going to use two different base colors. The first one is going to be a beautiful baby teal and we're going to cut this out with a really nice a Wilton fluted cutter. You can find the links to all of the materials and tools that we use underneath the video. This doesn't need to be thick, just about a one eighth of an inch. Okay, here's my fluted cutter and this is two and a quarter inch in diameter. So there's our beautiful baby teal. Now we're gonna cut out a lavender circle as well. So the next thing we're gonna do is create a really beautiful striped pattern on top of our base. And what you're gonna need to do this is just two different colored Easter pastel colors. So I'm going to go with a pretty yellow and a baby pink for the first one. So I'm just gonna go ahead and roll these both out. So to make these really pretty stripes, I only need a total of eight stripes and I'm only going to cut out four of each. Now if you're going to be making several toppers and of course you can cut out as many stripes as you want to get as many done quickly and I'm only going to cut out four of each color and I'm going to eyeball. You can measure exactly if you want. Each one of these little stripes are only about one quarter of an inch wide. So I'm just going to eyeball and just make sure they're both pretty straight. I'm using my awesome blade and the trick to making sure that these stay nice and straight is to put the blade on the gum paste and then press down and then slide left and right. Okay so there are my, my four pink and I'm going to trim the edges off just so that it looks nice and neat for the video. Get those out of the way. And I'm going to cut out four yellow stripes. Then we're going to lay these next to each other in alternating colors. So that first yellow one, I'm going to keep it nice and straight and place the pink one next to that. So I'm just gonna do this till all eight of them or side by side. Keep them as straight as possible. Those are beautiful colors. They are, huh? Make sure all your stripes are nice and straight. I'm just going to cut off the excess here just for the sake of cleanliness. Then we are going to take our circle cutter, regular circle cutter by Atiko. This is a little under two inches. And then I'm going to place it right on top. Press it down. Get rid of the excess and the ones on the edge kind of lift a little bit so just press it down in there. Do not lift it up so what we're going to do now is take our edible glue and I'm going to take my baby teal base and I'm going to add glue just in the center where I know the little stripes will be. Don't go all the way to the edge. So now what I'm gonna do is carefully lift this and all the stripes should stay inside the cutter. And then just center it as best you can. Okay, and then all I'm gonna do is take any tool of choice that's not gonna damage my stripes. I am using my medium-sized ball tool in my Sculpey set. And I'm just gently pressing the stripes down, go all along the edge, make sure that it stays there we go. And that's the easy way to make sure that all of your stripes are set down all at once. Everything is nice and uniform. perfect. Yeah, yeah, uniform on the edge. Isn't that pretty? Very nice. So for our beautiful lavender topper, we're going to be making some really nice stripes with a beautiful baby blue and a pastel electric green. This is what it's going to look like. So you're only going to need four stripes of each. And we're going to go ahead and cut those out now. I'm 
when you're lifting the circle cutter, if the gum paste wants to stay stuck to the mat and you see it's gonna free itself from the circle cutter, then a very easy fix is to just put your awesome blade, slide it underneath, pick up the whole thing, and then just place it right on there. Just like that. Love these colors, beautiful. Okay, now we're gonna make the body of the little lamb. So for this, you're just gonna need a little bit of white gum paste and roll this out a little bit thicker than what you did for the topper. Okay, so there's my gum paste, a little bit thicker. And I'm going to take one of my favorite silicone molds. This is a very beautiful swirl pattern. So I'm just gonna put that face down and I want this to really show up so I'm gonna give it a good hard press. Really pretty, hopefully you can see that. For the little lamb's body, we're gonna use a heart cutter. You want the widest point to be at least two inches, which this one is exactly two inches. And the heart is only going to cover half of the topper. Okay, so you don't really need to cut out an entire heart. So I'm just gonna cut out most of it. And since we're doing two little toppers, I'll go ahead and cut out both of them now. This one I'm gonna do with the lines horizontal. We'll do the other one vertical. So you want the heart to cover about half of the little stripes here. All you're gonna do is take your circle cutter and you're gonna mark the white gum paste where the circle is so that you can actually cut it. Don't cut it on the topper because you don't wanna damage what you've already done. So just make a little line and then put the cutter right back on where you made the impression. You may not see it in the video, but I can see it here. And then just cut it off. So this will go right on here. And I'm gonna go ahead and glue it on now. You don't need lots of glue, just a little bit, just to make it tacky. So if you're doing the lines horizontal, then make sure they're just nice and straight. Line it up with the bottom. Just like that, super cute. Let's do the same with the other one. Okay guys, so now we're gonna make the two little heads for our little lambs. And for this, you're just gonna need a small gumball size flesh tone. And this was made using Wilton's Ivory with a little tiny, tiny little dot of peach. And that gives you the perfect little lamb color. Beautiful, clean color. So you just roll it into a ball and then into a teardrop shape and then just flatten it. Okay, so let's do the little girl lamb. She's gonna have her head tilted a little bit to the left. So when you place it on here, you wanna put it right in the center and a little bit tilted. Make sure your stripes are aligned correctly. Okay, so that's how that's gonna go. So you just add a little bit of glue and then her cute little head. Just like that. You don't want the top of the head to go all the way to the top stripe. You want it just to maybe just be touching the second stripe, mostly on the fur. And now let's just do the same for our lavender topper. Okay, so this little guy's gonna have his head a little tilted to his left, our right. Isn't that cute? Mm -hmm. Now we're gonna make the little ears for the lamb and for this you're just gonna need two little pea size balls of gum paste, same color as the head, and just knead it, get all the cracks and wrinkles out, roll it into a perfect little ball, and then you're gonna roll this into a long teardrop, no more than an inch long. Go ahead and do the same with the second one and roll it out to the same length. Okay, so once you have your two little ears about the same length, all you're gonna do is take your middle finger and just semi-flatten. 
okay so this will be the little lamb's right ear so we're gonna arch this because we want them kind of flapping in the wind really cute and the other one in the other direction then you're gonna take a little bit of glue and add it to the back of each ear so remember her little head is tilted to her right so we want the ears to go where they really would be right at the top and then have this one kind of sticking out above the circle there really cute use your flat end to push it up against the head and then let's do the same for the other one kind of look like your ears baby <laughs> Flapping in the wind. That's cute. Isn't that adorable? Very cute. Okay, now let's do the same for the other little topper. There are the ears. Adorable. Okay, so now we're going to make some cute little feet. And for this, you're just going to need two little tiny like spit wad size balls, same color, and just roll this into a perfect little ball free of cracks and wrinkles. And then you're just gonna roll it into a little cute teardrop shape, not too long, just a little fat teardrop, and then flatten with your finger, just like that. Cute and little, do the same for the second one. And then all we're gonna do is add a little bit of glue to the back. And you can pretty much put these wherever you want. It'll look cute anywhere. As long as it makes sense, of course. So the little lounge kinda like peeping out of the, the little circle. Press it down and then arch the little foot over the edge super cute okay let's do the same for the second little topper super cute very cute yeah, here's what we have so far now we're gonna make the cute little piece of hair that goes on top of each little lamb's head and for this you just need a little bit of white of course if you're making several you can cut out several of these all at once we're gonna do this pretty thick because we're gonna do a really cool bubble effect. So you can see this is pretty thick, about the size of a Velveeta. Okay, so to do this, I'm going to take a little, uh, what we have turned into a little cloud cutter. So this is a little six petal flower cutter. It's about one inch in diameter. And so all we did was just squashed it. And we use this a lot for little clouds. You've probably seen this in a lot of our other tutorials. So to do a really cute bubble effect, all you're gonna do is take a little bit of plastic wrap, put it over your white gum paste, nice and straight. Make sure there's no wrinkles. And then just cut out your little cloud, which of course is the top piece of hair. I'm doing two of these for the tutorial, so I'm just gonna cut out two right now. And this is a really cool effect because it leaves the middle nice and dome-shaped and then it forces all the, the little edges down. So there you see a really cute, cute little cloud effect. Okay, so this will be the little hair. Okay, so all you're gonna do is add a little bit of glue to the back and then just place it right on top of her head. You want to cover the seam where the ears meet and then you still want some stripes visible at the top of the topper. Oh my gosh, so adorable. Let's do the same for the little boy lamb. How adorable is that? Super cute. All right, guys, the next thing we're gonna do is add a cute little bow to our little girl lamb. So for this, you're just gonna need some really pretty hot pink or whatever color you want that goes with the color palette that we're using. And you're just gonna roll two little tiny balls, probably even smaller than a spit wad size. Roll it into a little teardrop, cute little teardrop, and then you're just gonna semi-flatten with your finger. Do the same thing with the other little ball. I like to straighten the sides of the bows, so I'm just going to use my 
flat end in my medium sized ball tool and just flatten the little side there. You can keep it round if you want. Just like that little triangle. And all you're gonna do is add a little bit of glue to the back. And then this little bow piece will go slightly over the edge here. Just like that. Anywhere you put it, it'll look cute. But that's where I'm putting mine. A third little ball, tiny. And then all you're gonna do is just flatten it. Pick it up, add a little bit of glue. And put it right in the middle. Let's do the same thing with this one, but for this one we're gonna add a cute little bow tie. Don't forget to center it, so make sure the little stripes are nice and vertical. Super cute. Okay, so now before we do anything else, we're just gonna draw on some really cute little noses, really cute little snouts, and I'm using my Wilton Food Writer this is the smaller brown, really nice sharp point. So just figure out where the exact middle is and you wanna put the mouth near the bottom of the head. Just a cute little V shape. Just like that, super simple. Cute. Now we can add the eyes. Okay, so now we're gonna make the little cute black eyes for each little lamb and all you're gonna do is take two little tiny balls and you're just going to roll it into a perfect little ball free of cracks and wrinkles and then roll it into a tiny little teardrop. You don't want it too, too, too pointy. Just a little fat teardrop. And then with your finger, you're going to flatten it. And the goal is to make the second one look just like the first one. You want them to be the same size. And then you're just gonna take a little bit of glue and place it right next to and slightly above the nose. You want the little pointier part of the teardrop to be pointing straight up to the top of of its head. Okay, let's do the same with the other one. Just like that. Super cute. Now let's do the other one. Super cute. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is just cut out some cute little cheeks for these little guys. And you're just gonna need four of them, of course. We're gonna be using a size six tip, so I'm just gonna cut out four of these. And then we're just gonna add them to our cute little lambs here. So just pick up each one, add a tiny bit of glue. And this is when your flat end really comes in handy for these tiny little pieces. And we're just gonna put it next to and under the eye. And just do the same for all the others. Too cute. All right guys, now that the adorable little cheeks are on there, all we're gonna do is give them some super cute little tiny eyebrows. Let me zoom in here. Okay, so once again, we're using our Wilton Food Writer, the pointier marker, and this is the same brown that we used for the mouth. Just a little tiny eyebrow above the eye. Just a little tiny line. I think that looks really cute. So precious. Okay, this guy too. Cute. 
Okay guys, next thing we're gonna do is use our nail dotting tools. Remember, you can find the links underneath the video. And for this, we're just gonna use the smallest one, which is the blue, the little tiny ball on the blue ball tool. And we're just gonna use some white gel food coloring. You can use any brand of your choice. And I'm just gonna add a little tiny dot here, trying not to make a mess. And we're just gonna add one little tiny dot, just dip the little ball in the white and just one little dot at the top. Make sure you pick up a new blob of gel food coloring each time. Hope I'm not blocking your view. Cute? Very cute. This one's you. <laughs> cute, huh? Yeah, he's bad. <laughs> Okay, and the last thing we're gonna do with our adorable little lambs are to pearl shimmer them. So for this, I'm just gonna take my pearl shimmer, Wilton, and one of my favorite loose bristled brushes, and then just put a little bit of the pearl shimmer in the in the little uh, what do you call this little thing? <laughs> lid. The lid. <laughs> And then just pearl shimmer away, especially on the the white. Look how beautiful that looks. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Little beautiful lamb. The best representation or symbol, I think, other than the cross. Be sure to check out our other Easter tutorial. But this is the best, I think, little representation That's of- That's why it all happened. Exactly. Sacrificial and the best gift ever. Beautiful. The Lamb of God. That's why we do what we do. That's right. How cute is that? Look at that. That's awesome. And that, that just makes all the difference, that pearl shimmer right there. Let's do the same thing for this little guy. So we hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Hope you guys have a beautiful resurrection day and a beautiful Easter. And remember the entire purpose of the holiday is to remember what Jesus did for us, what God did for us by giving us the gift of his son. <laughs> right, baby? Amen. Beautiful. How adorable is that? <laughs> All right, guys, so here are our finished little lamb cupcake toppers, perfect for a resurrection day for Easter. So we hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and we just want to thank all of our subscribers and wish you all once again a happy resurrection day, happy Easter. Please check us out on Facebook and also follow us on Instagram, and we look forward to reading all of your wonderful comments. God bless you all. Thank you. Bye-bye. Take care, y'all. Bye-bye.